Sonic Ranger back with his blurry camera for the next toy review. Moving on again with some more Thundercat figures from the 2011 Bandai of America toy line, which I'm digging, I really am. Here is the review of Panfro, Snarf, and the Thunder Tank. Starting off with Panfro, the last of the Thundercats heroes. So, yeah, nice figure, great detail, very nice. The spikes aren't painted on the back, however. But, you know, that's just Bandai of America always doing something like that. So, whatever. I mean, at least they're trying this year. They're really getting my money's worth. They definitely are. I mean, everything that I get from them, I mean, I just feel like it's for a good cause. So, okay. Um, articulation for Panfro, his head is actually on a ball joint. It is. Just for those who didn't know or wouldn't even dare to pop his head off, now you know. It's on a ball joint. Even though it really only works like a swivel joint, as you can see. It only goes left and right. I mean, it really doesn't go up and down unless you pop the head off. Like I just did again. One second. Okay. Uh, shoulders on a ball joint. They go up around a full 360 to go in and out. Elbows, single jointed. Bend, about that much. Not even 90 degrees. Uh, wrist rotates. Uh, no waist articulation. It would have been nice, just like lion -O, but, you know, I can understand. He's a big boy. Um, legs, ball joint, up, back, in and out, rotate at the thighs. Uh, knees, single jointed. They bend 90 degrees. Nice. It's got, like, uh, some shin articulation. It actually rotates. That's nice. And he's got ankle joints. You know, the usual feet swivel up and down. That's it. That's it. They pivot up and down. Sorry, not swivel. Uh, they don't swivel side to side. It would have been nice, but, you know, it's a four-inch figure. Scale-wise, he is actually taller than the lion, though. He is. Just thought I'd let you know. Just like the show. He's big. So, yeah. Okay, for uh, accessories, he actually has his nunchucks. This is really all he actually comes with is his nunchucks. Would have been nice if they were actually painted in... Um, the actual colors of the show, one side red, one side blue, it would have been nice, but, you know, it's Bandai of America, what do you expect? So, yeah, one comes in storage mode, where it actually pegs on to the back of him, as you can see right here, there's a little peg in the hole, so there we go. And this you can actually put in his other hand, like so, and like so. It's kind of hard to get it in his left hand, but still, he can hold it with both hands. So it works. Nice gimmick. So, okay. Um, it would have been nice if it was on an actual chain where it could actually move around, but it doesn't. You know, it's just one bit of rubber plastic. I mean, really PVC. Very, very rubber, as you can see. It moves, but it really doesn't act like a nunchuck. Would have been nice, but, you know, like I said, Bandai of America. What do you expect? So his grade, I guess you could say it's a 4 out of 5. I'm just going to give him 4 out of 5 because I can. Next up, we have Snarf. Very cute looking Pokemon character. Definitely looks better than that hideous clown looking one from the original 1980s cartoon, which I never actually got into. So uh, for articulation, his arms, they move up and down just a little bit. Legs, they move up and down a little bit. The tail actually moves around, but, you know, it always goes back to where it was, so I'm just going to leave it that way. No head articulation, and it's just because of the Thunderlinks action. So, yeah, he's got Thunderlinks action. So, yeah. Um, I remember the prototype of the figure shown at Toy Fair, and the package actually showed him with green eyes. But it's a good thing they gave him pupils, because he would have looked hideous. Now he looks so adorable. He's so cute. Yes, he is. He's just so cute. He's so cute, little guy. He's so cute. So, okay. With that out of the way, 3 out of 5. Just thought I'd let you know it's great. Okay. Last but not least, the main attraction. The Thunder Tank. The best part of this whole entire line. Really, this is the main line. With all the vehicles, it's the Thunder Tank. That's the best one out of them all. Uh, I don't have the Thunder Racers, 
But I will have the Tower of Omens. Just thought I'd let you know I will be reviewing that when it comes in. So, okay. Um, what does it do? Well, obviously, I think I still got the lights and gimmicks on. So, just flip it on. So, yeah. It's got 11 wheels. 11 movable wheels. No actual tire treads to a tank. That would have been nice, but, you know. At least they got wheels, so they do roll. Um, they all move, as you can see. You flip these up, they move. The arms actually move to the Thunder Tank. You can flip out some nice, very sharp, actually, claws. I mean, they're really sharp. These are actually very sharp. I don't know if that's a safety hazard to kids. It probably is. But these are really pointy and really sharp. That's kind of cool. To me, it is. I don't know about you kids, but to me, it is. And they do move a little bit, as you can see. So, yeah. It's got some articulation. But the actual best part about this thing is when you actually use your Thundercat figures with it. You know, the Thunderlinks action. That's the best part of it all. So, okay. Uh, one more thing I want to show off. We're just going to skip that. Bring in Snarf, since he's got the better magnet. Just There you go. Storage. Yeah, storage compartment where you can put all your weapons for all your Thundercat figures that you're not using. You can just put them in there and close it up. Now, I heard people say that you can actually open this up yourself, but I can't find a way without Snarf or any other Thundercat figure with the magnet. I just can't. And I don't want to break it. Okay, and with that out of the way, let me bring in the figure that we're going to use with the Thunderlinks action. Okay, here we go. It's Chitara. And for one reason why, I just want to let you know she does work with the Thunder Tank, even though I customize her. As you can see, the big magnet link thing is gone. It's only on her hair now. So, yeah. Just going to pop this back on. Get her back in like I did before. So, alright. As you can see, she's in. And now for the sounds and light gimmick. You can see the lights actually glowing. You can hear the sound. And my batteries are dying. I gotta make this as quick as possible. Flip these up. Back here are some panels where you can actually shoot out the Thunder Racers. So yeah, it's kind of neat. And actually, that's really it for all the lights and sound gimmicks, except for one thing. The problem with the Thunder Tank, in fact, taking out Chitara, or any other Thundercats figure you use, maybe even Mumra. I don't know why you would use Mumra. When you take them out, this is the problem. Remember that sound? Remember that sound? The only difference is when you activate it with a Thundercats figure's magnet, it only has what I guess is supposed to be lion -O saying, Thunder Tank, activate, Thunder Racer, what was it? Um, yeah, oh shit, sorry. Thunder Tank, activate, Thunder Tank, launch, that's it, Thunder Tank, launch, and, um... Thunder Tank Fire. That's it. All he says is Thunder Tank. But everything else is just the same sound gimmick. So what's the point, Bandai? What was the point of all that? So honestly, I think the Thunder Tank is... I think it's just pointless to actually have any sound gimmicks. The, nice, the lights is nice. It really is nice to have some glowing eyes. But I would have... Love to save a few extra shiny pennies. Just if it had no lights or sounds gimmick. The Thunder Tank itself is actually kind of cool. So that's just my opinion. I think it it's pointless to actually have lights and sounds. It's a nice addition. But really it's just the same sounds over and over again. So why bother? That's just my opinion. You guys wanted my opinion. There's my opinion. So 
overall, I guess the grade for the Thunder Tank itself is going to be a 4 out of 5. Just because, I mean, the sound gimmick's just pointless. So, that's it guys. That's the end review for the Thundercats 2011 Series 1 4-inch Panfro, Snarf, and the Thunder Tank. If you enjoyed this review, and hopefully you did, I hope you will rate, comment, and subscribe to Reddit's Power videos on YouTube. And until next time, this is Reddit's Power slash Sonic Ranger signing out. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and stay tuned for the Tower of Omens playset. There you go.